Jonathan Hall. And today I will be reviewing yet another movie. This time it will be Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I mean, look at just just look at Johnny Depp right there. I don't know why, but when I picture Willy Wonka, I usually don't picture a cross between Marilyn Manson and Michael Jackson. That said fact aside, Charlie the Chocolate Factory is like drugs, but for kids. Seriously, with its bright colors and its dancing midgets and the little chocolate bars that taste so, so scrum yumptious and that. To be honest, at first, I was just plain scared. I mean, honestly, could you imagine what would happen on a small world if those dolls came to life and were like, Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka, the amazing chocolatier, and the chocolate river and the gummy boat and, the, and all those strange inventions. So we start off with a little boy named Charlie Bucket. I know. I don't know who names these people. Gosh. <clears throat> Charlie's little underprivileged English boy. I'm so underprivileged and I'm an English boy because I'm underprivileged. Seriously? Oh, I'm so underprivileged. Do not make fun of this plot, is it? I love you. And I love you this much. I love you. I'm so underprivileged. Which they probably accidentally swallowed, choked on, died, and then there's a lawsuit with Mr. Wonka. He really didn't think that through, did he? This is how much I love you. 